guys. Welcome back. All right, so I'm going to show you how to make a super easy grid pattern in Keynote that you can use for your digital planners, digital bullet journals, and digital uh, journals, just notebooks. So I'm going to do this on the iPad so that pretty much anybody in the digital planner situation who is an Apple user will be able to do it. You don't need a either an iMac or a MacBook to do this, uh, but it does work in Keynote for Mac as well as Keynote for iPad. So let's go ahead and hop in. Super easy. Watch how easy this is. So I'm here, just a plain document, and I'm going to do this not on the master slide. You can do this on the master and make your entire book grid a grid, <laughs> but I'm just going to do it right here just so I can show you how to do it. So you're going to hit this plus sign here, and then you want to go to table. I picked this gray one that doesn't have any of this blue crap on it because we don't need color here, or I don't need color here. Oops. Okay, side note, <laughs> I have it set to where my stylus is working as a pen, so I'm just going to use my finger for this. Done. So I'm going to drag this up to the corner, and then I'm going to size it to my document. At this point, perfection's probably not going to happen, but you want to try to get it as close as you can, because it will matter later. So I'm going to go here to this paintbrush. And then I'm going to hit cell border. I'm going to select all of the borders, not just the outside. And then I'm going to hit border style. I'm going to hit what? Well, I'm going to hit three point just so that you guys will be able to see it easier. But I usually just hit one point. And then color. I'm going to change to black again so that you guys can see it. Not because that's how I would do it. So then... You want to go over here and add until it's filling up your space. And you can make them long columns, whatever. I try to get them as close to squares as I can because I'm, I'm kind of crazy like that. But um, so you see how now we have these alternating colors in here. We don't want that. So I'm going to tap this circle to select the entire grid. And then I'm going to go to table. Alternating rows, I'm going to turn off. So now it's just the color of the uh, just white, essentially. You can also go over here to cell, cell fill, no fill. Now, visually, that didn't make any difference, but there's two instances where you will see a difference. Number one is if you have colored or patterned paper under this grid. And then number two is when you bring this notebook into an app like GoodNotes or Zoom Notes or Metamoji, oftentimes if you have a filled selection, they'll try to treat it as if there was a hidden object there. So usually to insert an image, you would like long press with your stylus and then hit paste or insert from or whatever. If you have this here filled with white, then sometimes it'll like highlight just where the grid is. You can still paste or insert from with it doing that, but it's really annoying when it does it. So I like to make it to no fill and then um, go from there because it takes that out of the equation. So now if you tap off, you again see how I'm not quite to the edges over here, you can adjust it just like this, just like that. And now quick side note, if you don't adjust it as close as you can get it before you start adding rows and columns, it'll do that. So you want to get it as close as you can so that when you're adding your rows and columns, you're not having to add them twice because it wasn't sized correctly. So. That's it. That is how you would add this to your keynote file. Now, real quick, I'm going to show you what it would look like if I did it the way that I would actually want it because these really dark colors are making my eyes twitch. I would go back in here to border, select all, color, I would probably do this soft gray, and then line width, I would drop down to one. Sometimes you would even want to do like a 0.5 or a 0.75 if you just want a really faint kind of a guideline. But there, see? So pretty. 
So that's it. That's how you make a grid in Keynote. It's super easy to do. And again, this functionality does work on the Mac version as well as the iPad version. And I'm going to assume the iPhone version because I'm pretty sure they're the same as the iPad version. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.